Hey, wanted to run this by you real quick, show you the process I'm going to use for trimming up this Ibert sheet to make it fit. So let me show you the problem here. This stem, very unique. This flap lifts up and it allows you to adjust the stem angle and the handlebar angle all on the fly. But you can see that it's hitting right here. And down below, let's take a look at the mounting. That is all the way forward. It doesn't quite reach. It's exactly one inch from center to center of hole. I know technically we could just put the pin in and it won't fall off, but then it's gonna put a lot more stress on not only the bar here, which could cause it to snap, uh, because all the leverage is gonna be on the rear. So if there was a longer T-bar coming off, if that was an, uh, an option sold separately, that would take care of this problem. But, uh, so what we're gonna do is just trim up the top right here. We're gonna trim off that top piece that way it will slide forward and we'll be able to catch that first hole there. Yeah. Yeah, it's a nice fit. So this project it turned out really nice. The grinder just chipped away at the plastic, cleaned it up with a this project turned out really nice. The plastic melted away with the grinder, cleaned it up with the file, made it real nice. And then at the very end, just for a little bit of a last touch, we used a, a lighter uh, just, to, just to burn the edges a little bit to give it a nice rollover on the plastic. And then just wiped it down. Looks amazing. So something you can definitely do. Uh, it didn't seem to take away any of the structural integrity of it, but I do have to say that it does void the warranty of the seat. So keep that in mind as you modify the original design of the saddle. But in our application, it is great. The customer agreed to it, and we're happy.